As I was making my NBA draft recap video, I could not stop thinking about the Kyrie Walker situation, how no one is talking about it. Let's talk about it. Being someone that has watched the NBA draft for years and has watched the NBA go by, I've never seen a situation like this. A formerly five-star recruit committed to play basketball at Arizona State, decommitted and decided to not even play college basketball and decided to train at some facility I've never heard of, be a pretty regular guest on Aiden Streams, shockingly drop down to a four-star, and what the hell is going on with him? In 55 games of high school basketball playing Hillcrest Prep, Kyrie Walker averaged 27, 7, and 9. Now, I don't know if this is a glitch with the website, I am on Max Preps, but I don't see a senior season. Wait, never mind, turns out he sat out his senior season in a reason I cannot find. After being asked why he wanted to forego college, this is the reason he gave. Quote, I know it's surprising some people, Walker said, the development that I wanted to have ready to get into the draft would be way different from others. I feel like if I went to college, I wouldn't have that same development. I just wanted to get ready for 82 games. Walker announced that he would be training with Camion BX and Rion trainer Frank Matrincinsko in preparation for the draft. I've never heard of Camion BX up until this, so I don't know if this is an Arizona thing, but I've never heard about it before. But after doing some research, it seems like it's a 12 month personalized program that's supposed to train you on basketball, I think. At least that's what it seems like. Now the thing is, we've seen a lot of people forego college, like for example, some players playing overseas, or some people deciding that they were gonna play on maybe, oh, I don't know, the G League Ignite, which wouldn't have been a bad move for Kyrie Walker. We saw players like Jalen Green, who just went number two in this year's draft, go to the G League Ignite. It was a different route, yes, but he still got highly picked, and he was definitely looked at as a better prospect. If I'm being completely honest, I even forgot that Kyrie Walker even existed in a was still on this planet. Up before draft day, the last that I heard about him was he was on Aiden streams doing e-dates and shit. And after all of this, you decided you were going to declare for the NBA draft in a chance that you were most likely not going to get selected. And I've been seeing people defending him saying, oh, he's going to get signed by a team. With what evidence? There is no evidence that he's still good at basketball. The last we saw him was junior year. Unless he's played in a celebrity game, which I cannot find, and maybe Instagram clips, which don't tell the full story, we have no evidence of how good Kyrie Walker still is at basketball. There's no footage of him. We haven't seen a single thing since. A two-year difference is a really big difference. In fact, it might even be more if I'm being completely honest, considering this man is now 20 years old. But you might be saying, okay, but he had to be on some draft prospects, maybe like the top 100 boards maybe he was on Woj's best available right wrong he wasn't on any single board in a tweet that Kyrie Walker is saying I'm just happy to be a part of this you weren't even a part of it if you're watching this video I want you to go to the NBA draft and go to the best available I, if it's still up it should be and tell me when you see Kyrie Walker's name that's right you cannot find it and if I'm being completely honest, I'm not shocked he wasn't drafted. There was no evidence of you playing for two years. And how are teams supposed to draft you? Now, there were things going out that like, oh, that 10 teams tried him out. Well, it turns out to be a big fucking lie. And if that was true, then how did you go undrafted by 10 teams? Now, unless he gets signed in like about 10 minutes or something, I don't think this man is going to have an NBA contract right now. If you were to tell me two years ago that Kyrie Walker wouldn't be in the NBA but Leangelo Ball was in the NBA, I would think you're dumb as hell. Now I think for social media and publicity stunt reasons, Kyrie Walker might get an NBA contract for like a summer league or something, but that's about it, maybe even the G League. When Kyrie was playing, he was an amazing forward and he did amazing on Hillcrest Prep, but that's all we have. We have two years of footage from Kyrie Walker and those early slam dunk videos that went viral. Guys, I need to stress this out enough. If your name is popular on social media, whatever, and you declare for the NBA draft, you're not guaranteed going to be drafted. This man showed up in a suit and tie just to go undrafted in his own damn living room. And I like how he's playing off saying like, oh, the haters are like, why wow, they're doubting me, blah, blah, blah. Dude, no one's hating on you. We just think it's dumb how you thought you were actually going to be getting drafted with no footage. Of I need to emphasize this. I know I might be repeating myself a lot, but dude, we have two seasons of you in high school basketball and on overtime right now, I'm seeing these like other clips and stuff, but that's all we have. Two years ago, I was a way better basketball player. But now, I'm not that good, and if I didn't play, you would have no footage but to look at that two-year difference. And if I'm being completely honest, I don't know if there's any clips of Kyrie Walker actually
actually working out at this thing that he was working at uh i don't know if there is there probably i would like to think there is but i haven't seen him do shit but like stream on twitch and that's about it i don't know why i get this Kyrie uh irving like spiritual weird shit vibe from this but the situation is just really dumb at this point now, i need to emphasize i'm not a Kyrie walker hater but you you couldn't you couldn't have expected to be drafted you couldn't have expected to be taken seriously right and the way that he says i'm excited or i was happy to be a part of this makes me honestly think if he was actually taking the draft seriously he did say he was doing it for his dead friend terrence clark so i mean i do give him props for doing that but still it doesn't help though when you have went ghost on us for two years when it came to basketball and now you declare for the highest league you can play in in america and you go undrafted and you're shocked. Now, like I said, for a purpose of entertaining people, I think Kyrie Walker will get a contract. I don't think it'll be a guaranteed one. I think it'll be like a Langela Ball situation when he was on the Pistons and he'll possibly play for like a summer league team of whatever team really wants him. Now, after scrolling through his Twitter for about 1.5 business seconds, this man actually thought he was getting drafted. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, okay, I'm done. I'm done, guys. Like I've been saying, I think Kyrie Walker, if he puts in the work, he could be a really good player, but so is all the other guys that declared for this draft. Looking into this in the inside now, I really do think this was just a gimmick or this was just something Kyrie Walker wanted to do to build his brand even more. I can't think of a situation where Kyrie does think he's getting drafted unless there is something behind closed doors that we don't know about, like a workout from a team that just didn't want to draft him for whatever reason. That is a possibility, but I don't see it being a guaranteed contract i see it being like a tryout or like a summer league opportunity that's really all i can see i've gone through a good amount of scouting reports and i don't see a single one that did have Kyrie walker's name on it saying he was going to even get drafted at all and i don't like this thing that like this narrative that oh Kyrie walker and the haters it's just re it's, it's a reality check all right like i said you can't just have a name and expect it to be drafted if that was the case langelo ball would have got drafted when he had that one year where he declared for the draft and it was right after he played in lithuanian stuff and if that's the case then Giannis's brother alex who did declare for this draft and did work out with the actual teams did not get drafted so he will probably get an opportunity and it's going to be fair because he actually did play basketball somewhere i think it's starting to be a trend now where people are kind of going away from the ncaa and kind of trying to find up other opportunities to play basketball somewhere whether it's the G League Ignite or Overseas or Overtime is starting a brand new league that's supposed to get you ready for the draft called like the Overtime Elite whatever they're paying their players like a lot of money just to play I don't and you can't play college or high school basketball from playing in it because it's technically a pro contract so I don't know we're gonna be seeing a lot of opportunities in these upcoming years but like I'm saying kids if you have a name you're not going to be drafted just because of your name if you put in hard work and you actually play basketball and it hasn't been over two two years yeah there's a really good chance you could get drafted and if Kyrie Walker did play basketball at Arizona State University I guarantee you this year he'd be a lottery pick even if he didn't do that well at Arizona State even if Arizona State had a terrible season this man would be a guaranteed lottery pick he was a top five recruit in the 2020 class which was a pretty good class but I still think he comes out as one of the better players in that draft class I just don't know man if Kyrie Walker if you ever watch this let me just say this one thing to you as I've said a million times in this video just because you have a name you're not going to get drafted just because you post this quote saying oh my haters around me or all whatever blah 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 that doesn't mean you're going to get drafted just because we've seen you play basketball and you were at one time a good recruit doesn't mean you're going to get an nba contract if you do get an nba contract i wish the best of luck to you i hope you do really well i actually did want you to get drafted but i'm sorry unless you put in work and you actually play somewhere we don't know anything about you and you're not going to get drafted Guys, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn on the post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Take care. Peace.